Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Business First Craves podcast. Today's episode has been a long time coming. In fact, it has been on my list to record probably since the inception of this podcast in May of 2022. But I am finally going to create an episode for this podcast on how to choose a CRM for your business. And I am going to add one caveat and say for your photography business. Now, if you are not a photographer, please do not tune this episode out. There are just a handful of things that I am going to talk about specifically related to photography, but everything else that I'm talking to you about today is probably still going to be worth your while. If you currently have a CRM and you're wondering if the grass is greener on the other side or if you actually currently do not have a CRM, and that needs to be at the top of your list for 2024. Now, the reason that I am recording this episode today and that I am not delaying it anymore is every Black Friday, it's like I get amnesia. I forget how many people are going to drop into my DMs to ask me what CRM they should invest in because they're all on sale. And usually... I would point people to guest episodes that I have done on other podcasts to be like, oh, well, if you want to hear me talk about it, I talked about it on this podcast. Or I actually have a CRM comparison guide, which I updated today to make sure that it is the latest information that I have. But the truth is, some of these CRMs did such a bang up job in 2023 about adding new features and eliminating things that I completely did not um, recommend them to people when they asked. I mean, a lot of the CRMs finally upped their game and got rid of these things that really bothered me. So it really is the perfect opportunity for me to talk about why I love the CRMs that I love and why perhaps you should consider using them in your business as well. So first, if you don't know what a CRM is, It is a customer relationship manager. It is basically a piece of software that allows you to centralize and organize your client data by project and allows you to like streamline the processes as you work with your client from inquiry to delivery. Now, all CRMs in the most basic function will be able to do project management invoice and payments, client communication, and contracts. Every single CRM that is included in my CRM comparison guide has that functionality. And before we get any further, let me just tell you, if you would like to download the PDF to look at while you listen to this episode, go to coleyjames.com slash compare. And again, At the bottom, you are going to see that that was updated in November of 2023. So it is the most update information. And I have a grid that specifically shows you which features CRMs have and which features they don't. So once again, coleyjames.com slash compare. All right, let's get back into it. That comparison guide in particular discusses 17 Hats, Dubsado, HoneyBook, Iris Works, Pixify, Sprout Studio, Studio Ninja, and Tave. Now, the reason that at the beginning of this podcast interview, now the reason at the beginning of this podcast episode that I mentioned this is going to be specifically for photographers in certain areas is, did you know that almost every single one of those CRMs was actually created for photographers? Now, there are many other CRMs that I am not going to talk about. Moxie is actually one that is gaining a lot of traction right now, but I am not going to talk about it in this episode because I simply don't know enough about it. So I am going to stick with the eight CRMs that I know the most about that are the most popular options for photographers. Now, Sprout Studio in particular is an all-in-one software. So not only does it have really robust CRM features. It is also online gallery software. So if you are listening to this episode and you are not a photographer, you should just completely ignore that as one of your options because you don't want to pay premium price for online gallery software that you don't need. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, There are a couple of ideas 
that I want everyone to think about as we consider what CRM is going to be good for your business. Now, as photographers, or maybe even website designers, any visual artist is going to want to consider the design elements that are available inside of the CRM that you choose to use for your business. And for years, I have said that bar none, Dubsado is the best CRM for any visual artist. What it allows you to do is highlight your work, your photos and your videos on the proposal so that when you ask for the sale, you are also showing them the art that you can produce. Now, this is not specific to photographers. I feel very strongly that brand designers and website designers who are delivering visual elements to their clients can also benefit from those kind of design elements. But the truth is, in the last year, HoneyBook has come way up in terms of design features. And initially, and I will say, guys, if you'd asked me in 2022, if I recommended HoneyBook, the answer would have been no, because HoneyBook had this one thing that I just couldn't get over, and that was booking friction. I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, but the moment that you are ready to make an offer to your client, I do not want there to be any pauses in the process. Once you send them the proposal, the quote, the brochure, whatever it is that you are doing to make the offer, I expect that they can choose their offer sign their contract and pay their money all in, you know, three combined steps. They shouldn't have to do one step and then wait for you to come back and offer them the second step and then wait for you to come back and offer them the third step. And so that is the problem that I had with HoneyBook for years was they had brochures and yes, they could be designed very well. They could have, you know, your brand colors, your photos, frequently asked questions, all that good stuff. But when you presented it to them as a pricing guide and your client chose the option that they wanted, they could not immediately sign a contract and they could not pay you. They had to wait for you to approve it on the back end so that they could complete the booking process. And anytime you give someone the opportunity to walk away from the process, you are going to potentially lose some of your leads. So because of that booking friction for a very long time, I would not, I refused to recommend HoneyBook to anyone. But with the creation of Smart Files in 2023, they have eliminated that booking friction. And so while I still recommend Dubsado as my number one CRM for design elements for photographers and other visual artists, guys, HoneyBook is like a really, really close second. So if design is important to you, I highly recommend that you take a good look at Dubsado and HoneyBook. Let's get into the automation because that is the second thing and it's where you are going to be able to save the biggest amount of time in your business is through automated processes and automated communication. Now, in every CRM that I have named, you will be able to send some form of automated communication, but not all CRMs are created equal. Some of them will allow you to watch steps inside of the workflows to trigger the next step based on what's happening inside that workflow. And so for that reason, the number one CRM that I recommend for automation happens to be Tave. Now, Tave is the CRM that I had before I made the move to Dubsado. And I will tell you, it was a really sad day when I decided to move from Tave to Dubsado. But the number one reason that I moved over to Dubsado was design. Inside of Dubsado, you can embed videos anywhere. And as you guys know, as a filmmaker, I feel very strongly about presenting my leads and clients with the option of booking a video wherever I can. And so at that point, and this is 2017, it was more important to me to have the ability to include videos in my proposals than it was to use the awesome and amazing automations inside of Tave. Now, again, Tave wins hands down for automations, but Dubsado comes in a close second. So again, if you're keeping tabs for the design elements, Dubsado takes first place and HoneyBook takes second place. And now that we're talking about automations, Tave takes first place and Dubsado takes second place. But 
I know some of you guys are like, but Coley, I mean, all of them have workflows. So really, what is it that makes Tave and Dubsado? And, you know, HoneyBook is a, is a close third, guys. What is it that makes them so special in terms of automation over the rest of the CRMs? So let's say that you have made an offer to a client. You have sent them a proposal that has a contract and an invoice attached. And let's say that your client receives that proposal or that quote and they do not book. Like it's been two days. You haven't heard from them. In any CRM, you can send a templated email to follow up and be like, hey, just checking in, making sure that you got the proposal, the offer that I sent over. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. In every single CRM, you can write a template email and you can run in there and send the email if you notice that they haven't booked. But who's got time for that? The CRMs that have the best automation features are going to watch that form. It's going to watch the proposal or the quote. And if that is not completed within a certain amount of time, you can automatically move to the next step in the workflow, which is to resend the offer to that client. That is the best automation that you can have inside of your CRM. Um, so for that reason, that is why Tave and Dubsado are at the top of my list. Okay, so let's talk about integrations. Software integrates with all kinds of other software now. Um, we've got QuickBooks integrations. We have calendar scheduling integrations. But the truth is, I don't think that anyone should actually pick a CRM only based on integrations. Let me explain. Zapier is an amazing program where in most cases, you can take information from one application and put it into another application. And so even if a CRM does not have a direct integration that you are seeking with like QuickBooks or FreshBooks or Airtable or Calendly and Acuity or whatever, whatever other pieces of software you can come up with, chances are you can probably connect them using Zapier. So for that reason, I know that some of you are like, oh, but especially photographers, you guys are like, oh, but I use PickTime as my gallery software. Like, I only want to pick a CRM that integrates with that. That is not what I would recommend for your business. Now, I am happy to tell you, though, uh, PickTime and HoneyBook just announced a brand new integration and partnership. And so going forward, you are going to be able to connect a client's project inside of HoneyBook to their gallery inside of PickTime. Now, HoneyBook and PickTime are not the only ones that do this. If you are already using online gallery software that you love, I highly recommend that you download the comparison guide to see which CRMs integrate with your online gallery software. I have noted inside of the guide which ones are integrated with ShootProof and PickTime. I used to have CloudSpot on there, but in this update, I have removed CloudSpot because they no longer integrate with Dubsado. Uh, CloudSpot has created what I call a CRM light. They now have some CRM features inside of their online gallery software. And so a lot of CloudSpot users are going to be looking at CloudSpot to replace their CRM. Okay, so we have talked about design elements. We have talked about automation and we have talked about integrations. Now I want to move into what specific CRMs have in terms of plans. Because the one thing that I encourage everyone not to do when you shop for your CRM is to pick a CRM based on the price. Guys, there are a lot of places inside our business that we can cut expenses, we can attempt to save money. I wholeheartedly do not believe that your CRM is where you should do that. Yes, there are in fact CRMs that are $20 and less a month. But the truth is, most of those CRMs are only going to do the job that you need while your business is very, very small. And while anyone can switch CRMs at any time, it is very time consuming. It is a big hassle to go from one CRM to another. And so if you are currently in the market for a CRM, I beg you 
not to try to save money and choose one of these CRMs that has very limited features because in a year when you are getting more clients and you are making more money, you are going to feel like you shot yourself in the foot to save a measly $10 a month. So do yourself a favor. Don't do that. Now, a few of the CRMs have full plans and then they have what I call starter plans. Um, Dubsado, I feel, made my job harder when they actually created their starter plan because everything that I love about Dubsado is related to the automations and the workflows. And unfortunately, you do not get access to workflows on the Dubsado starter plan. So the starter plan is $20 a month. And the full premier plan is $40 a month. I do not recommend that anyone start on a starter plan. Everyone needs to be using workflows in order to save time in their business, which actually helps you save money in the long run. So don't try to save money now by getting one of these starter plans. Now, I do want to quickly mention the HoneyBook starter plan, though. Because the HoneyBook starter plan is only $9 a month at the time of this recording, but it does not have a limitation on the features. You get to pay $9 a month to use HoneyBook fully until you reach $10,000 in sales. Once you reach $10,000 in sales, you do need to upgrade to a full plan. But so not all starter plans were created equal. If you would like to find out how much each of the CRMs cost, please check out the comparison guide for all of those numbers. They are accurate as of November 2023. All right, so let's talk about these CRM lights. So quite a few of the online gallery softwares like CloudSpot and the website um, online gallery software Pixie Set they have started to create their own CRMs. And these are what I call CRM lights because what they're trying to do is maximize the use for their users by adding some CRM features, but they are definitely not as robust as what you will find with the CRMs that are more general and that are more used in the photography industry. So, if you happen to be a Pixie Set or a CloudSpot user and you would like to try out the CRM features, I, I mean, you can, that's fine. But at some point, you are going to want to do a little bit more automation than those allow. And then you're probably going to be in the market for a different CRM. So bottom line, I actually do not recommend that anyone use these CRM lights unless you are already fully invested in that original um, piece of software and you know that once you grow, you are looking at a migration. If you go into it with that mindset, more power to you. But I feel like everyone is going to hit a wall, whether it's in scheduling your clients, making sure that you are sending communications automatically based on whether or not they filled out a form or they didn't fill out a form, you just don't have those capabilities inside of the CRM light pieces of software as of the time of this recording, okay? The last thing that I want to say is we are all tired of logging into multiple pieces of software. And so finding that unicorn all in one software is like something that we all try to do. And I will say, I recommend Sprout Studio. If you are not married to your current online gallery software and you would like to look at a piece of software that will allow you to do the CRM features and your online gallery software, Sprout Studio is quite robust. Now, I have personally never used it as a user. I have also never set anyone up inside of Sprout Studio. But from what I've seen, and what has been demonstrated to me, it is quite a robust piece of software. When people come to me and they ask me, well, you know, Coley, I could, I could just go with Sprout Studio and get all in one. Why would you not recommend that? I am a PickTime user through and through. I love all of the features that PickTime gives me as an online gallery software. That is the only reason that I would not consider something like Sprout Studio because I'm quite happy with the back end of pick time and the level of automations and availability of partner labs that pick time gives you. But 
If you are not a PickTime user and you would like to try an all-in-one software, I would highly recommend that you sign up for a free two-week trial and give Sprout Studio a chance. Okay, so I've already talked about that booking friction. And I've already talked about how it has been eliminated inside of HoneyBook. Now, I do want to say something about Studio Ninja. It isn't something that I think I had written down anywhere, but I do know that I had told quite a few people. And so this is my opportunity to update this piece. For a very long time, I told people that. Do that. All right, guys. And this is my opportunity to update you on Sprout Studio. All right, guys, now I want to talk about booking friction one more time. I have already said that any CRM that you are looking at will give you the opportunity to connect a proposal or quote directly with the contract and directly with the invoice. All of the CRMs allow you to do that. And to me, that is actually the best money spent for a CRM. But I do want to take this opportunity to update you on one of the CRMs that I compared inside of the guide, which I previously did not recommend. So Studio Ninja, before 2023, did not have a proposal template that you could save. So while you could connect a proposal to a contract to an invoice, you actually had to create the, pro the proposal from scratch every single time. And so again, just like the previous booking friction that I mentioned with HoneyBook was an absolute, I cannot recommend this piece of software, uh, Studio Ninja's lack of a proposal template was why I could not recommend it for the longest. Now, they have fixed that. They have updated that. You now can create proposal templates that you can apply um, you know, without having to do a lot of customization and creation for every single new lead and client. And so I just wanted to take this opportunity to correct that um, in terms of reasons that I did not recommend that piece of software before. All right. Last but not least, I want to talk about the difficulty of use and setting it up. Um, I recently had someone who was in my DMs for Black Friday and was asking me what she should choose between Dubsado and HoneyBook. She had those two particular pieces of software that she was considering. And so I asked her one very simple question. I said, will you be setting this up on your own or will you be purchasing my CRM Blueprint course or buying any of the templates that I have available inside of the DIY system shop? And she responded that she was going to try and set it up on her own. And for that reason, I recommended HoneyBook to her. Now, I know you guys are like, wait, Coley, but you love Dubsado. Let me clarify, guys. I love Dubsado, but Dubsado is a little difficult to set up. They have a lot of educational videos that you can watch. You can try and YouTube your way into a setup, but it is not as intuitive as HoneyBook is to set up out of the box. And so for that reason, for that particular person that asked me, I did recommend to her that she should try HoneyBook out first and see how she liked it. Now, Dubsado and HoneyBook are not the only options when it comes to choosing a CRM. I do want to say I loved Tave for a really long time, but Tave is actually the most difficult CRM to set up. Pixify is also used by a lot of wedding photographers. It is included inside the comparison guide, but users have also reported a bit of difficulty in setting it up on their own. So I just want to say Every single CRM could be easy, could be hard, depending on your level of appreciation for tech <laughs> and how much you can decipher it on your, on your own. Almost every single CRM has really great educational videos that you can watch and try to learn how to set up the CRMs on your own. And so when it comes to, you know, the easiest, if you will, CRM to use, that's actually not what I recommend in most cases. And in fact, I have seen many people post inside of Facebook groups that someone should choose this CRM because it's really easy to use and really easy to set up. Usually, in my opinion, if something is super simple to set up, it means it has limitations. It means that there is probably going to come a point where your business outgrows the features that the simplest CRMs offer. So if you have any questions 
on how difficult it is to set up any of these CRMs, please hit me up in my DMs, Coley James on Instagram, and I am happy to let you know my opinions or direct you to some educational content that you can consume if you would like to take a DIY route. But once again, if I could implore you about anything, it's don't choose the cheapest CRM and don't choose the simplest CRM because as your business grows, it will probably not be able to grow with you. All right. So once again, if after hearing all of this information, you would like to see the full comparison, please go to coleyjames.com slash compare. All right. That's it for this time. See you next time. All right. That's it for this episode. See you next time.